So I uh, promised to get back on uh, Audacity and multi-track recording uh, with it as soon as I uh, would find out how uh, it would work. And uh, I've been messing around a little today and uh, I did find out how it works. And uh, here's a little demo of uh, how to do a multi-track recording with uh, Audacity and uh, with uh, the Behringer UM uh, interface. I'm using my laptop for today and uh, well it's pretty easy once you know it. Okay, so I uh, started with uh, looking up the manual and uh, it's a little unclear where to find it in uh, Audacity, but here it says uh, you'll need to go to the IO tab preferences. Uh, of course, I first installed the, uh, the driver um, in the previous video, you can see that. Um, I'm going to Audacity. You can find it under the uh, preferences. I'm having a Dutch version here, it's called Voorkeuren in Dutch. And here you'll see the drivers. And normally it's Windows Direct Sound. Uh, MMA doesn't help you much. It's only two channels. Windows Direct Sound is only two channels. But this is the one you will need, Windows uh, W, A, S. API. I don't know what it means. Um, standard it's one channel but you can go to four channels and there you go. Um, I'll do a little demo now um, using my Digitech and uh, do some uh, stupid focal line so you have an idea how it works and uh, that's about it. As you can see, it's now uh, having four channels. Let's hit it. Okay, so that's it, and here it crashes, well, what fun. Okay, giving it another try, um, let's see if, uh, if it works now, starting up Audacity. Let's go. Okay, well, as you can see it's not that difficult to uh, record four tracks, but editing with uh, Audacity isn't that easy to do. Um, I, uh, I personally prefer a uh, more serious recording environment. I'll do a uh, little mixed version of this uh, at the end.
So, uh, as you noticed, it uh, it crashed. Um, well, happens. I mean, it's Windows after all. Um, when I uh, restarted uh, Audacity, it uh, showed up the tracks uh, as they were recorded and uh, did a recovery. Well, as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to run four tracks at once uh, on Audacity also. But, um, well, Audacity is of course a pretty simple recording environment and I personally wouldn't use it uh, for multi-track recording but uh, oh well if you're really on a very tight budget this might just work for you